Like the rest of the bike industry, we are experiencing high demand and might be a bit slower than normal responding to your requests. These are the auto reply emails that we are seeing pop up in our inboxes. This one is specifically from Rogue Panda Designs, which is a bike packing manufacturer based out of Flagstaff, Arizona. Whether it's small bike packing businesses like Rogue Panda Designs or larger companies like Shimano, it's clear that the bike industry is struggling to keep up with this outdoor recreation boom. So why is all of this happening? Well, most of you know, this is a once in a lifetime pandemic. The pandemic forced people to do more things outside as most of the indoor activities were basically shut down. Most travel was restricted, so folks were finding new ways to explore from home. This has led to a supply chain nightmare, to put it in a nutshell. Spikes in certain types of products have caused stresses in raw materials, shipping, and availability, causing massive delays in some sectors bikes and bike parts being one of them. And this trend is not exclusive to the bike industry, just look at the outdoor industry as a whole. The demand far outweighs the supply in nearly every facet of the outdoor industry, from RVs all the way to minimalist camping gear. Let's draw it out a bit, March of 2020. I was at Mid-South Gravel, which happened to be my last bike event that I attended before the pandemic hit. We were having a great time, high-fiving, giving hugs, but then on the way home, we were listening to the news and we started realizing how dire of a situation this was. I remember getting home, going straight to the grocery store, spending far too much money and coming home with everything I needed, well, except for TP. Like me, the bike industry started to freak out. Many companies started to lay off employees to prepare for a big loss in sales. Burke Saunders of Industry 9 shared how the pandemic started for them. He states, it has been a roller coaster from starting to produce PPE when the pandemic first started, to seeing orders drop last spring of 2020, to an unprecedented increase in order volume that no one could forecast. So that dire situation that we all thought was going to put a big strain on the bike industry, it did, but definitely in a different way. The desire to work out, free time, stimulus checks, well-being, all of these ultimately helped the bike world. And because of this, manufacturers like Clubride have seen a double in new customer rate versus seasons past. Bag makers like Rogue Panda Designs are backed up roughly 10 weeks now for a custom frame bag, whereas pre-pandemic it was two to four weeks. As of early June, Industry 9 has a wheel set lead time of 22 weeks. 22 weeks. When I worked for Angry Catfish Bicycles in Minneapolis last summer, we were selling bikes like crazy and it was just an insane time. But the problem was we couldn't get our hands on any more to refill our stock. More recently, Angry Catfish is pivoting. Owner Josh Clauck mentions, we have more frames on hand than we ever have in the past. and We are trying to help folks build up their dream bikes. Other financially flexible shops or shops that put in big orders in the past are obviously still seeing bikes come in, but with much less consistency in their arrival times. Other shops have not been as lucky. Some have closed, while others are shifting their focus from sales to service and waiting for the supply chain to catch up. All while screening phone calls from a customer that is shocked that they can't spend money on a bike that they want right now. These current lead times bring up a bigger question. Is it just the demand? Yeah, probably. But was there a larger issue with the supply chain in the first place? Unfortunately, there's no true way of forecasting this. And really all we've done now is test the limits of our supply chain. And well, it's clear it's been broken. Ronnie Romance of Ultra Dynamico Tires mentions that sampling new products and production of existing products takes about three to five times longer as it would have in 2019. At a larger scale, many bike brands are in a more challenging position due to the process it actually takes to build a complete bike. From obtaining raw materials, to welding those materials, to installing the components on your bike, to shipping and to getting them to your local bike shop, brands that had a lead time of seven to 10 months are currently looking at lead times of around 24 months. So why are we experiencing these delays as a whole? Is it the overwhelmed factories or the COVID-19 restrictions in those factories? 
How about the global shipping bottleneck or suppliers forecasting challenges? Perhaps it's just us who want all of these products all at once. It's probably all of the above. So for many of the brands in hindsight, they probably wish they ordered more or had more stock, but many of the brands that I've spoken to mentioned that they ordered as much as they could once they realized that the market was going to soar. So how has the pandemic changed the industry? Well, aside from the demand and businesses actually ordering more, many are making capital investments from small bike shops all the way to larger scale wheel builders. Josh from Angry Catfish again mentions, we also have been extremely fortunate in being able to secure a new building that will double our square footage, which will help invest in future efficiencies. And Burke from Industry 9 states, we have been expanding rapidly to the point where it looks like a new place every three to four weeks, making seven figure investments in new machines for manufacturing, increasing capacity, and hiring more staff to meet the current and foreseeable demand. In the end, this bike boom has simply put more butts on bikes. And that's a good thing. These new customers are going to need bike service. They're gonna want bike apparel. They're gonna want new tires and wheels. And hopefully they'll want bike packing bags. While many fear a steady decline in bike demand or those new bikes start to collect dust, the hope here is that these new customers are cyclists for life. So the big question here, when can we expect to see bikes in pre-pandemic like stock that we were used to. Well, there is no crystal ball for this. Based on some conversations that we've had with folks within the industry, our best guess is towards the end of calendar year 2022. But check back in about a week and ask us because things seem to uh, be consistently changing. Will the bike industry go back to normal? When do you expect to see bikes within your local bike shop? And have you been affected by the pandemic? Are you a consumer, a business person? Let us know leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you like what you see in these videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And if you wanna help support bikepacking.com as a whole, the video that you're watching right now, everything you see on bikepacking.com and the Bikepacking Journal, which is our print publication that is shipped to your door twice a year, consider joining the Bikepacking Collective. You can click on the link below to sign up today. As always, thank you all so much for watching and until next time. Pedal further.